Hi, this is Bastian de Koning from Kajabi Users the Netherlands. And in this video, I'd like to show you how you can add these social media buttons on your Kajabi website. These buttons are very useful if you want to share your page or your blog on uh, social media. And if you press just one of these buttons, then a new window pops up and you will find all your website information already included in this post. You see it as the featured image, it has some text and you can add some text above it and just select where you want to share this. So let's close this Facebook page, go back to the page itself. And I'd like to show you how you can do this on your own Kajabi website because Kajabi doesn't have these social buttons included. I hope they will do it soon, but at this moment we need to we need to take use of another tool. And now what I what I use are multiple choose tools, but what I use is add this. Add this is very simple. It can do a lot of things on your website. It can track a lot of information. But for now we um, yeah we only use the uh, the buttons and if you want to deep dive into Addis please do it I'm not affiliate with Addis it's a free tool you can use and you can go to addis.com to use it on your website well if you do that create a profile go to your dashboard and you will find something that looks like this. I've created a, a profile for Kajabi users I just installed it on Kajabi users um, but let's just do all the things together and create a new profile. I'm sorry for that. And let's say add profile. This is a demo. And let's take all the steps we need. Well, now you see a lot of information. It's um, things you can add. And let's go from the top to the left. General, no more information, Collab collaborators. I only want to add information. Blocked websites, um, not for today. Hidden content, not for today. Rescrape URLs, all these things you can do. Branding, thank you, see, I don't need you. Email, API, link shortening, and profile type. All this information, it's nice, but just let it for what it is. We go to the tools. And we need a new tool. And what kind of tool do we need? We just want to have share buttons. You can also use follow buttons, related posts. You can do a list building, link promotion. There's a lot of things you can do with uh, this. We only use the tool share buttons. It's for what we need today. And first of all, you need to uh, choose where you want to have these buttons. This is called floating. You can have them in line inside of your block text. You can have them expanding. Let's like you see, then they open from the right bottom. You have an image sharing on an image. You can use these buttons. You can have pop-ups. You want to share it. You know this all. You, can, you have seen this also on the websites too. You can make a banner here on the top of it or a slider. There's a lot of things you can do, but mostly I only use floating because I want to have the icons on the left side of my screen. So first choose it. This is the one we do. I don't want in line. Is it? No, it's not selected. It's just there. Let's press continue. Now select the number of services you want to have. And I have LinkedIn, I have Twitter, Facebook, printing, and something else. Well, I don't want to have printing and I want a different follow um, flow of the thing. So if I click selected by you and now I have Facebook, Twitter, I want LinkedIn on top of it. So add more services and there's LinkedIn. Now it's there. Just drag and drop it to the top. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. If you still use it, email, people can use it. Um, and Pinterest. Pinterest is interesting for uh, people who use boards. Well, you select what it is. I remove Pinterest and now you see you have those five. Don't remove add this because with the add this button, they can add uh, all kinds of other services they use like Reddit or something else. 
and you don't want to exclude them but don't want to show all those 300 servers as possible on the right side or left side on top you have some more tools to change the design you can change the color you can add how many uh, the number of counts the number of times it has been shared and you can say I want to show this uh, this uh, number just after 10 shares so, so you won't see one share and that's a little bit awkward but if you say the minimum count is 10 shares or maybe the minimum count is 20 shares then people say 20 20 times and that's at least better than one I know one is better than zero but you want to have some um, yeah, numbers and now you can even uh, select if it's on the left side on the bottom on mobile that's nice you need to see that can you show that I can show it here up oh, go back on the bottom it will be here that's nice and on the desktop it will be on the left side you select where it is just make everything you like and this is something I want to um, tell you right away let's do that no 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 this is where you can show um, where you can select whether you want to show these buttons on every page or just a few selected pages I'll leave them for them empty we'll come back here later so if you have done everything go activate tool then you get some code and this code need to be added to your Kajabi page this you see here just copy the code you can press the plus button and now we need to paste it somewhere on your Kajabi site and mm, they say you can paste it on your um, body tag somewhere well let's go to our Kajabi page um, here I am in a Kajabi uh, clean Kajabi environment it's a test uh, environment and we can add the code to your Kajabi website maybe your home page but then it will not show up on other pages so we need to put it somewhere that all the pages can find it and after we have done this after we have done this we can uh, extract the pages we only want to use and we because we don't want those share buttons on your store or in your library because this is the people this is the members place so how we can do is go to your settings go to site details scroll down till you see page scripts here paste your code and press save let's see how this works I go to view I go to the preview of this page and there they are there they are the buttons how great this is go let's go to store and what we see there they are we don't like that oh my god we go to block and there they are if I go inside the block there they are and if I share this block on Facebook let's see what happens next Jabi is now uh, contacting at this and at this is creating a Facebook post of your blog and there it is let's see this is the sign up today I don't I see there's uh, wrong image connected but that's because it's a demo blog but um, now you can easily share your blog on your page so let's go back but we, we what we don't want to have is um, these buttons on the wrong pages we only I, I only want to have it on my home page here and I only want to have it on my blogs and what's the neat thing with blog and Kajabi some people hate it but sometimes it's just useful in the URL I need to show you that the URL of Kajabi is always with slash block at the end and we can use this in our add this settings so let's go back to add this we've just copied this code and you can see, um, let's see how we can get back we can just go back to tools and there's our floating tool the tool we've created you see the same buttons let's go back to this icon and 
Um, we don't want to hide this on the home page, we just want to show it on the home page, but you can choose that. I want to have all the settings just on my you show blog page. So add a slash and an asterisk to uh, um, show it on other pages. And if you want to hide it, you can remove it here. This, because I only told it to show it on these pages, it will be there. And if you want to show it also on your um, home page, you can um, add the same URL also. You see there's a, a comma, um, is that the English word? I don't know, uh, there's a second. So just copy and paste it again. Let's see, I remove all the clutter and I don't want to have it on my blog paste. I don't want it to have it on other pages. So there is, it's only on uh, the blog slash asterisk and it's on the home page. Let's update this tool, successfully saved. Let's go back to our Kajabi site. Premiere, home, there they are. Let's go to store and maybe they're still there, but you see they're not there. Let's go to the library, not even there. Let's go to the about us, they're not there. Let's go to blog, I think they're not there because we only said it is allowed on the pages that have the slash asterisk and let's go inside the blog there they are. So if you want to have them also on the block itself here, we need to add one more. Let's go back to floating rule. And we need to add also, let's copy this line, add a new one with a comma. And you also need to add this one because this is the page with all the blocks included. Let's go update tool. Let's go back to our Kajabi site, go to block. And now they should be here. Also, you're a little liar. No, I'm not a little liar. There they are. Now you see them here. And if you go inside of the block, you see continue reading. Then we go inside the block and there they are again. This is how you do it. This is how you add the add this buttons on your Kajabi website and only select them on the pages you want to have these buttons on. If there's a page, another page you, you really want, people can share, then add this page to the same tool and add this. I hope you like this. Please do a thumbs up. Please um, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you look on YouTube or my Vimeo channel. Please share this page. I really appreciate it. I'm Sebastian de Koning from Kajabi Users Netherlands and I hope to see you in the next great Kajabi tutorial. Have a nice day.